Well, the holiday season is a special time for family festivities and maybe more importantly, a time for good food. Yeah, and this year <laughs> KX wanted to offer you some tips on how you can indulge in all of that food yourself without going overboard. Aaron Fields is joined by Sanford Health dietitian Rachel Iverson live in studio. Hi, Aaron. Good morning, Tim and Alicia. Rain Rachel joins us right now to give us some tips on what you can do to stay a little healthier this holiday season. So Rachel, what are some of your go-to tips for um, eating healthy this holiday season? So when we think about Thanksgiving, um, it's kind of this big food day, which is my favorite holiday. Um, and what we really wanna focus on is enjoying it as well as not overeating. Um, throughout the holiday, there's so many parties and dinners and it's not just one day that's gonna do us in weight-wise, it's when we overeat consistently. So there are a few things you can do just to um, combat that. If you're going to a holiday dinner, make sure you have a meal before. Don't skip breakfast. When we're starving, we're going to overeat and feel way too stuffed. Make sure there's plenty of fruits and veggies on your plate and take a little bit of all of the foods that are traditionally your Thanksgiving favorites. Um, you wanna feel satisfied. You want those sensory experiences, but you don't wanna go overboard. You wanna be able to have um, some fun afterwards and not feel like you just have to lay on the floor. Perfect. And um, are there any certain foods you would tell people to stay away from? I wouldn't because when we get into that sense of restriction and we can't have certain foods, that's when we tend to overeat later. Um, we kind of get into this sense we can't have something. We watch everybody else eating it and then that's what we focus on. So if there's a food you really like, even if it's pecan pie or you're getting into the dark meat of the turkey, you enjoy those things for that day and then just cut down on the portion size. Great. And then um, are there any kind of exercises you would suggest between meals or anything that um, would be like good mm -hmm. for you? What I would do is there's quite a few social events you can do on Thanksgiving. It is about family as well as food. You can go to a boot camp at the Y. I know there's the turkey trot and just bundling up your family and taking a walk outside is a great way um, to enjoy some of those holiday memories, even if it's nice and cold out there. Perfect. And then so are there have you gotten some good feedback from these tips? Has it been working for some people? Yeah, these are the tips we use day to day when we're counseling weight loss patients. Um, just making sure you enjoy your food and you don't restrict too much. Dietitians, people kind of think we're going to watch them on Thanksgiving, especially my family is like, don't watch me take these potatoes. But um, I'm all about the potatoes, so it's okay. Enjoy your food, just don't overdo it is the main takeaway here. Well, thank you so much, Rachel, for being um, with us today. And if y'all want a full list of these holiday tips, you can check out our website at myndnow.com but I will send it back to you, Tim and Alicia. Okay, very good. Uh, thank you both for that.